Hello everyone. Today we'll see how to model uh, circular tank along with the pre-stressing provided in using construction stages in Midas FEA. So we'll start off by first opening the model. So we can go and click on new after opening Midas FEA. And in start screen you will get this option which type of analysis you want and what is the unit system. So we'll keep it default and let's start with the modeling so first we'll create the geometrical modeling then we'll apply uh, then we'll do the add the material properties section properties then we'll smash the model and then apply loads and boundary conditions after all this we'll add construction stage and analyze the file so let's see first we'll add the bottom circular pin so we can directly do by clicking circle that is under curve so we'll just add input location as 0 comma 0 comma 0 and since you're having 40 meter dia radius will be 20 meters once this is created you can click on auto fit and our circle is created now we'll translate extrude this into a cylinder that can be done by using surface extrude command or geometry generator feature extrude the extrusion profile this is an edge so we'll select edge here select extrusion profile again edge select extrusion direction that is vertical z axis the length will keep as 45 meters we'll uncheck solid since we want hollow and we'll give the name cylinder and click click on preview to see it it's ok click on ok again out of it you can see you have extruded the circle into a cylinder now we'll add the circular pretensions that can be done by simple command that is translate under curve since you are translating the curve so what we'll do is we'll translate this this circle into different layers so first we have to select this sphere then direction that will be vertical z axis we'll do non-uniform copy that is first one will be at 0.25 distance and then the rest 89 at the distance 0.5 meters so it is at 250 millimeter and then 89 at 500 millimeter click on preview you can see and then ok now you can see all this circular tendons have been provided now let us provide the vertical tendons so first create a line vertical line once by clicking on 3d line you can just select the bottom and top point once this line is created again we have to rotate this line about z axis so use this rotate option under curve we will select object shape here object again we will click select object shape this that is this vertical line that we created we will select rel revolution axis as z axis that is vertical axis we will do this time uniform copy so we have to provide it 250 number of times so it will be at an angle 1.44 degrees and 249 times since you have already provided this one so you can click on preview and check it and ok now you can see we have also provided the vertical pre-slicing model now our next task is to create material properties section properties and then we'll start missing so to create material properties you just have to go to analysis material you click on create and you can create using db that is database so you don't have to input and directly put the value so just select isrc for concrete before this we need also time and you dependent in this properties so first let's create time dependent material properties 
we go to analysis time dependent material creep shrinkage so we'll change the units into newton millimeter for easier input purposes we again go analysis time dependent material, creep shrinkage so first one is creep m30 we'll select for cbf ip compressive strength is 30 mpa we will put notional size as 1000 mm and click on OK. Similarly, we can add analysis compressive strength curve. So, compressive for M30 will put according to code again CVFIP 40 MPA and redraw graph. So you can get the graph which is according to this code and click on OK. Once we have completed adding time dependent material properties, let us go and add materials. Analysis material create. So we'll add concrete. No, we can directly choose from database that is here. You can select the code ISRC M30. So you can see the values have been inputted according to M30. Select this time dependent material from the drop down list which you have already defined. Creep M30, Compressive M30 and click on OK. Once this is done, add steel also for tendons. We go to DV. We'll select ISRC at the bottom. That is IS steel, sorry. And select the grade of concrete. Uh, steel. Let's select FE490 and we'll click on close. As you can see, the values have been inputted accordingly. Click on OK. Now we have created the two material properties. Now we'll create the section property. So, first of all, we need a plate type for our cylinder. So, that plate will give name as cylinder. We'll give thickness of the plate as 1000 millimeter, 1 meter material concrete global rectangular our material CYS and click on OK similarly we can add 1D similarly we can add for reinforcements that will be reinforcement we will create bar name will be uh, Now uh, this we can name will be tendon material steel cross sectional area 6000 millimeter square again model code CBFIP and let us give the values default right now once this material and section properties are created we will go to uh, create do the meshing so we can go to mesh auto mesh let's mesh our cylinder first so face we can select the faces by just creating a dragging and drop dragging the cursor around this you can see four faces are created we will keep element sizes 1000 millimeter that is one meter adaptive seeding will click on property as cylinder and we'll give mesh set name as cylinder click on preview you can see the nodes created and click ok now if you want to just see the plate element just go to mesh set under mesh mesh set cylinder show only so you can see only this if you just hide all you have hide hidden all the geometry by right click and then hide all now you can see only the meshed plates now let us go on to meshing our tendons so we will hide this mesh now let us let us show all the curves so geometry curve so all this is our vertical and horizontal 
uh, circular tendons so we'll go to mesh auto mesh edge for our 1d elements since these are 1d elements we'll select we'll do in two two times that is once for circular once for vertical so we'll select edge let us select edge from this so first we'll do for circular meshing we'll select all the circles that have been mentioned under the curve from 1 to 99 all these are selected we'll keep the interval length as 1000 mm again we'll give property as we have to give property so click on this to add property directly bar section tendon and click on ok once this property is given in reinforcement select bar in plate since this is a plate element we will select already defined our reinforcement element we will give mesh set as circular tendon and click on preview and ok now meshing is happening for circular tendons now let us go on to do meshing for our vertical tendon similarly mesh auto mesh edge We'll select all the line elements that is no. You can just slide till press shift and select all till this. So there are 250 line elements, vertical elements. Again, interval length. We'll give 1000 millimeter. We'll give reinforcement. Again, here also we have to select bar and plate. These are vertical tendons and click on preview and ok so the meshing is happening for our vertical line elements as well once we have completed the meshing then as you can see meshing is done so now we will have to go to on creating the loads boundary condition and and construction stage so before that we'll save this file file save I'm saving this at the desktop so we'll go to desktop I'll give name as cylinder or rather tank and click on save right once this is saved let us go on creating the loads so we'll go to analysis here are the load and boundary conditions option so let's go and create boundary condition first so we'll give constraint we'll give bottom support which is we'll select now let us go to geometry hide all we'll go to mesh and so all so now we can see all the meshed elements we'll go to front view by right here and select only the bottom nodes we again we'll select analysis analysis boundary condition constraint bottom again front view So if you want to see if we have selected all, you can see. So there are 496 elements. Since we only want to select the bottom nodes, we'll just activate the cylinder and not the line elements. So we'll go to mesh, mesh set, cylinder, so on. Right? We'll hide all. So by this we have only the cylinder uh, elements. So now it will be easier to select the boundary nodes. 
so boundary condition constraint we will select bottom select node we will select the bottom nodes as you can see it is 124 we will keep it fixed and that click on apply you can see all the support conditions are applied let's go on to create top node so again we will give boundary condition set as top we will release vertical deformation so it can deform in the vertical direction select the top nodes and click on ok yes now once this is done let's go on to create loads first we will create self weight so that is body force we will give name as self weight force factor minus 1 and ok since our z axis is vertical minus 1 is negative downwards so click on ok and gravitational force is applied now let us apply the pre stressing so to analysis load pre stress for reinforcement so we will select that we will give load set as first circular pre stress circular pre stress we will select all the circular pre stresses so we will go to reinforcement and we select all the circular ones select first and then shift till 91 all these are selected we will give post tension stress 1395 MPa and click on OK similarly we will give for vertical pre-stressing vertical pre-stress we will select all the tendons 1 to 250 will give post tension stress 1395 1395 and click on ok right so now we have completed providing pre stresses forces for circular and vertical tendons now what we have to do is add construction stage analysis and run our model so we can go to analysis construction stage define construction stage here we need to create new we will give stage name as CS1 duration as 7 days we will add element age as 21 we will click on additional step so we will add first all our cylinder that will be at age 21 then we will add all the reinforcements so all the reinforcements are added then we will add the boundary condition bottom and top then we will add the loads in load step first step right and then click on save now we will click on new CS2 which will be for thousand days and we'll click on save then we have CS3 which will be for 10,000 days and click on save now you can see we have three stages one okay I didn't click on save I think in two we'll modify it CS2 thousand days click on save click on new cs3 10,000 days click on save you can see we have now three stages one two and three once this is done click on close and we can go for our analysis case so we'll go to analysis case add and here we'll select analysis type as construction stage we'll give name as construction stage analysis this is and in output control we can select what mesh we want output as so we want all the meshes and then 
in analysis control we can select which stage we want analysis up to we can select do we want to consider creep and shrinkage effect we'll select yes variation of compressive strain yes and then we'll click on ok again we'll click on ok and here's our analysis case created finally we'll run the analysis solve that is control plus F5 or analysis solve click on ok analysis is being run once the analysis is completed we can see the deformations stresses developed in tendons so it will take some time 